Hello, hello, and welcome to Losers Become Winners. 725th Alpha's nudged down a little bit with CVX at 103%. There it is, 103% for CVX. And we are last bar high. This last bar high will nudge down just a tiny bit, but 2% was taken off because we had an up candle here. And that's the world of options. It does those funny little things. But the bottom line is that we are very close to an out. If we get an up, if, we, if anything touches this green line on Monday, we are out of the trade. We'll pick up the profit, whatever profit it is, and take it away from the rock. And the rock becomes pebble. Uh, pebble will become profit, and profit will do payback. Okay, so that's CBX. Let's go on now to XLE. Now, XLE got a 97% yesterday. And today it fell back to 95. See, right there, this is 97. This is 95. Uh, in my rush of doing yesterday's video, I somehow knocked off the sale ticket. No problem. I can reinitiate it as soon as I'm able to get on the definition of an out. Again, I'm anticipating that this 30 day will continue on drifting down, and this could be the sweet spot if this price continues to flatline through here or comes up. And starts crossing here and then that will be uh, then I'll be able to establish a formal exit for the um, XLE and uh, any profit above 646 after commissions will move XL this particular XLE to the winner circle XLE will be playing again in the future and the reason why is because several issues I have also what they call dead lost leaders I dabbled a little bit in penny stocks years ago and lost and some of those penny stocks were in energy so the result was that money is not lost I just transferred the debit to uh, XLE and then XLE will just continue playing until all that money gets returned back uh, so that's what's going to be happening. That's why you have you see XLE five, and the reason it qualified above the other XLEs is because it had the lowest amount owed, only six forty six. Some of the other XLEs have much more uh, owed, so they have bigger rocks, and then therefore they, you know, the way I do my list is I start with the ones called the low hanging fruit. So I start with the list of ones who owe me the least amount of money, and then work and get those done first and off the books. Uh, here in the alphas, the alphas have, uh, I think it's 50 something uh, lost leaders. Going on to CVS. Now CVS is gonna be really cool because CVS earned its last bar low. So here's the other lesson today. The other lesson is once you establish an exit, exits do not retreat. Exits do not retreat. Repeat after me, exits do not retreat. So. We had last bar high here because we had 100% on the close. We got, we fell back to 83% here on this close because the up candle and this is a put. So our last, our last bar high is right there. So again, if this touches anywhere near here, the same thing happens with CVX. We will be out of these trades and pick up the cash. And this is like $515. So we might get maybe 500 out of it. 500 against the 2000 node will take it down to about $1,500. Rock become pebbles, pebbles become profit. Profit does payback. Okay, from CVS we have Walgreens. And in Walgreen, uh, we 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 don't have we're not anywhere near. We still got 38 percentage points to go to get that 100 ROI. Or again, if price just continues flatlining through here and the 30 day moving average just keeps drifting on down, eventually the price is going to close above that line and hopefully not too close to the EP and give us a profit to knock off some money from the 2400 owed here on Walgreen. Going to T. Okay, we are at T now. And T doesn't T T doesn't T is only running at 29%. So there's there's no movement. We do have our warning track in place and the MA has just barely touching the EP. So we'll be looking to get hopefully get some spacing between the two as time goes on. Okay, moving on now to gold, gold put. Now this is, the, again, this is a very funny economy because now we have, uh, we still have some dangers out there and gold is usually a safe haven. And I seen the situation that happened before in 2007, eight, nine, where when the market started crashing, gold crashed with it, but then it reached a point of 
turning around and gold zoomed up while the market continued lagging behind and then finally the market caught up over the last 10 years and now we're back to back down again so it, those are the cycles going on to kr here is at kr we have kr is also still just has not touched the ep yet uh so the exit is sitting way up here somewhere let me see what it's at 50 37.25 so it's somewhere up in this zone here 37.25 i haven't drawn not drawn the draw the line yet because we still don't have an official exit for the 30-day moving average as opposed in price channel you can see the exit coming and now finishing up for the alphas in the 30-day moving average challenge we have here um Excuse me. We have here uh, Yelp. Yelp is moving in the wrong direction. We so put our stop is, uh, is sitting up here. Oh no, that's for the alpha. That's the alphas, right? This is the alphas. We're waiting for that close in the warning track so we can get a last bar high. So we need that close above that line. But look, the 30 day is also tapping the EP here with the possibilities it can get lower before price finally will cross it and then we'll be below the EP and maybe get what a break even. That said, let's move on to the Tigers. Here we have the Tigers, the CVX is their leader at the Tigers and that's price channel for them. And here is the Tigers and the Tigers is the price channel right there, the price channel now, they're very close. If they can get 26 more percent, they can get a last bar high and also join the alphas for the exit. Be kind of cool. It'd be a nice shared exit. Going to AXLF. XLF is running uh, is price channel. Again, this is price channel. We are in the Tigers price channel so uh the exit is still sitting up here and we still have a long way we got to get 80 percentage points to get that last bar high or this eventually starts crashing down and coming down here for a possible exit somewhere maybe toward maybe the i would anticipate around the second week of october because price channels do not drop very quickly so uh that that's the the drawbacks with price channels but they do have their advantages you can see the exit coming where in 30-day average you do not can see the exit coming until it happens above that line right there so there it is uh, pepsi is running stop us here and we're only running at 12 percent because it's a put and it's in going in the wrong direction uh going on now to edison edison is here and now with no Edison is a call, which is kind of cool. It's good to have a nice mix. Hopefully that you're in the right you're in, you're in the right side of the track of the mix. So this is a call. It's starting to move up. A nice move here. A nice strong candle. So uh, we'll see how Edison will do. It's just got just 10 percentage points, but again, uh, and the exit is still is down here at the bottom because this is a call going in the up direction. Finishing off, we have a put for Dominion. And it's just got a tiny, tiny bit of profit, not much. Uh, the stop is here. And there's the instructions for the Tigers. And the Dominion owes 1092. So, and that's it. Everybody else is lagging behind. So that is the, of today's conclusion of uh, winners become losers with, um, with C, with alphas nudging CVX at 103 with last bar high, waiting for that exit and to get some profit off the table. And with that said, I thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out. Bye-bye.